Hey guys, welcome to Geek Speed, the show where I pick a topic, tell you what I like about it, tell you what I don't like about it, and tell you some stuff that's okay, but maybe I could do without. Or not, because it's part of what makes it so awesome. Last time I did one of these, I showed you some costume ideas that I had for Halcon, but since that's over with, and I already said I wasn't going to talk about it anymore, I'm just going to lay that to rest. One thing I can't lay to rest, however, is this amazing show that I just found out about a little while ago, Doctor Who. For those of you who don't know, Doctor Who is a science fiction show that's been going on for 50 years that follows the adventures of one man, the Doctor, as he travels through time and space on his ship, the TARDIS, with a multitude of companions throughout his lifetime. He's a member of an alien species known as the Time Lords, who, when it comes time for them to die, regenerate and change their appearance so he can have multiple looks throughout his 900 years of living, even though he looks like he's, like, 26. Now to tell you what I like about it. The very first thing I like about Doctor Who is its theme song. It's short, it's sweet, it's sci-fi, it's got that kind of feel to it, and just really awesome. As with most shows and movies I do on Geek's Beak, the first thing I'm going to mention, or rather the second thing, because the first thing was actually the title sequence, is the characters. There are so many awesome characters in Doctor Who that I want to mention that I've only already seen in two seasons, but I know there's a lot more to come. First person, his name is in the title, his name is the title, Doctor Who. The Doctor. Specifically, since I've only seen two seasons, the ninth and tenth regenerations of the Doctor, being Christopher Eccleston and David Tennant. I love their personalities. They're goofy a lot of the time. I've seen Tennant be more goofy than Eccleston, but they're both goofy, and they both can be serious at times. I found it really awesome in the first episode of the second season, when I actually saw more of Tennant, and I, I had like a light bulb, or like, in my mind, because I didn't realize this until like, well, okay, I, saw, I realized it relatively quickly, but it was still like, boom, is David Tennant also played Barty Crouch Jr. in Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. When I realized that, I'm just like, that's amazing. That is so cool. Sci-fi and fantasy merging together. I love it. If you haven't seen this, check this out. The really thing that sold me on that was the eyes. Just his wide, crazy eyes. Harry Potter and sci-fi explosion. Another character who is in both Harry Potter and Doctor Who is John Hurt, aka Mr. Ollivander, the guy who gave Harry his wand. I did some research on who John Hurt was, and all I could find was he's the war doctor in the 50th anniversary special. Mr. Ollivander, Harry Potter, Doctor Who, again, explosion. There is Roger Lloyd Pack who plays John Lumick. He plays Barty Crouch Sr. And the last character I saw in, well, one of the last episodes that I watched in season two was Shirley Henderson. She plays Ursula Blake and also Moaning Myrtle. These Harry Potter characters, or, well, okay, the characters aren't there, but like these Harry Potter actors being in Doctor Who is just giving me so much joy, and I've heard that there are so many more in the rest of Doctor Who. I want to see them all. Another male character I really like is Mickey Smith, played by Noel Clark. He's Rose's boyfriend at the beginning of the series. Well, okay, beginning of the second series. There's, like, from the time it starts in 1963, to such and such a date, there's like the first series, and then they pick it back up and go from there. I should have mentioned that earlier. I apologize. He's a really good character. He's 
mostly seen as like the tag along or the third wheel, but in like in episodes that are closer to the second season finale, he does a lot of work and he's really awesome. The one girl that I cannot get enough of and I was heartbroken with at the season two finale, which I will get to later on, is Rose Tyler, played by Billy Piper. She, she's gorgeous. I just want to say that. She's gorgeous. She's adventurous. She is incredible. I, I did not know this little fact about her. She was a pop icon in the 90s. Then you have Rose's mother, Jackie Tyler, played by Camille Kaduri. She's the way everyone's mom is, I think, some of the times. She worries about her daughter who goes off traveling, not the way most people travel, but she's a great mom. And she goes along with all the doctor's schemes, and he takes Rose on, and she trusts him, which is good. She's really cool about this whole space travel, time travel thing. In later episodes, she gets a little bit more into the actual traveling process and the weird stuff, and it's really good. I enjoy it, and I think you guys will too. The last four things on my like list are either mechanical or alien, or in a couple cases, both. And those are the TARDIS, standing for Time and Relative Dimensions in Space, disguised as a blue police box. One thing that's really cool about the TARDIS, it's smaller on the outside than it is on the inside. Also, it translates alien languages for you. So, like, the Rose and the Doctor, they've been traveling throughout the universe, throughout time, just, and they've come across certain languages that obviously they wouldn't understand. But the TARDIS translates those so that they hear them in English and can communicate. Then you have K-9, the Doctor's robotic dog companion that I've only seen in one episode so far. Then there is the Doctor's sonic screwdriver. The sonic screwdriver is the instrument that lets Doctor Who do his stuff. Well, and the target. It can basically control and manipulate any mechanical object. Finally, we get to the Daleks. These guys are basically Doctor Who's nemesis. They keep popping up season after season, place after place, attempting to kill the Doctor, which is bad, which is probably making you question why they're on my like list, but every show and every movie, I think, needs to have that character or that thing that people don't like. They like to dislike it. And the Daleks are that for me. They actually look really awesome. They look like souped up R2-D2s on the outside. Then when you open them up, they're gross and look like disgusting brain squid things. So Daleks, they're cool. They're, they're all right in my books. I don't mind them. Now I get to things that I don't like. There's actually only two things that I don't like about the series that I've seen so far. Two. That's like one per season. Actually, it's exactly one per season because one of the dislikes happens in the first season and the other dislike happens in the second season. The first thing I don't like is in the very first episode of the 2005 series with Christopher Eccleston. Rose up and leaves her boyfriend. She leaves Mickey to go running across the universe, running across time with a guy she doesn't even know. And then she has other relationships while she's traveling through time. Like, she'll meet up with a guy, and then they'll have something. This really makes me feel bad for Mickey, because he loves Rose. He would do anything for her, he wants to keep her safe, and she opts to leave the planet, goes surfing across the galaxy, surfing across time with a guy she doesn't know, and then has other relationships, or at least little flings, on the side, and just then when she comes back, she shows compassion for him. So, in, I guess you could split this into two dislikes. The first being 
that Mickey is kind of like, he gets a short end of the stick and he gets left. And then the second aspect is Rose is just fleeting around. I, I really like Rose, I really do, but just that one aspect, it's, it's, it's not my favorite, I don't like it. The other dislike I have is actually in the second season finale. I, I don't I don't know if I should actually let this let this information out because if I do and you guys haven't seen it, well, that'll just ruin it. But it's bad. I'm actually you know what I'm I'm just gonna leave it at that. I don't like the end of the second season finale. That's all I'm gonna say. If you want to go and watch it, and I recommend that you do, I highly recommend that you do. Go watch it, and then come back to this video and tell me what was your reaction? What did you think of the end of the season 2 finale? It's crazy. I, I don't like it. Then we get on to some stuff that's so-so. Again, since I really like the series, I can't find much to give it negative points, but I did find one thing that I thought was I, I, I could do, I, I would like it if they would not mention it so much, but at the same time it needs to be mentioned because it's a recurring thing. It's just continuous illusions and continuous things in a series. Like the first season was Bad Wolf, they mentioned Bad Wolf multiple times through either verbally or visually. And then in the second season, it's Torchwood. In the end, you find out what those are, but leading up to it, you it, just, it keeps you wondering. And it's good because that keeps you intrigued and it keeps you wanting to watch more and know what something is. But then, then you have the other side that says, Okay, all right. Can can you can you just tell me already? I, I don't I don't want to be kept in the dark. Sometimes that's good. Sometimes it's not. It's right for some people. And it's right. It's not right for others. You be the judge. My final thoughts on Doctor Who. It's an amazing show. Everyone should see it. At least a few episodes, not just one episode. Because to be honest, the first episode for me was kind of dry, so I had to watch a few more to get into it. But. Just give a few episodes a shot. I cannot wait to see more because there's a lot more. And I just want to, again, thank all of my friends who got me into this. So thank you, Karen. Thank you, Evan. Thank you, Nathan. Thank you, Crystal. And a big thank you to Dave Hawkins, Nerd in the North, for letting me use his Netflix and watch this series. That's it for this episode of Geeks Week. I hope you guys have liked it. If you have, punch the like button and comment below telling me what you think of Doctor Who. If you've watched it, or if you haven't watched it and, like me, have had people talking about it. Has it enticed you to watch it? Have I enticed you to watch it? Subscribe to ZXK77 to be notified of all my latest videos as well as following me on one or multiple of my social medias, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Google+. All right, guys, I gotta get back to watching Doctor Who because I really want to start the third season. Keep on keeping on.